So I was standing on the range a few years ago with one of the athletes that we represented that was playing in the tournament, and I'm standing there, and, and I look over to my left, and there's Butch Harmon. And Butch has worked with some of the best golfers in the world, men and women, and, and he's been incredibly successful at the work he's done with the athletes that he's, that he's taught and that he's coached. And so he's been around some pretty special golfers, men and women. So I sort of we start talking, and I knew he had a big personality, but I didn't really know him at all. And so as we're talking, I said, God, Butch, I said, man, I said, you know, you've worked with some of the best golfers in the world. I said, what do you think is the biggest difference, you know, between – the guys and gals out there that are 1 to 25 on the money list, right, that are they're playing this week, that are holding trophies over their heads on Sundays, that are winning and making cuts consistently. I said, what do you think is the biggest difference between them and everybody else? And literally, Butch looked right at me, and he, he didn't hesitate. He goes, oh, Molly, the, like the 1 to 25, the ones this week in the tournament, the ones making the cut, he said, those guys, those gals, he said, they recover from adversity faster than everybody else. He said, it's, it's really kind of that simple. He said, watch this week. He said, guys are going to bogey golf holes. They will. He said, but you know what the best ones do? They tee it up on the next hole and say, look, I'm going to smoke it down the middle. I'll be back up and down. I'll be back to even. It's about so often the messages that we tell ourselves. I saw a lot of athletes go through challenges, but the best ones sent themselves the right messages and recovered really fast. 